You want to try this on? Just, just us making it for Katie and Corey, but I can tell about. Yeah, let's see. Know. You can look at it and tell the front of it, which is the front yeah. of it. Okay, whenever you want to start talking, you can. Well, just start. I did. I started it. So go ahead. Uh, the kids was wanting to tell me to tell them how me and Jerry met, and I had come back from. Ohio at my sister's house. I stayed up there and looked for a job. But by the time I got a job, I had got so homesick that I wanted to come back home. So I didn't take the job I got. I come back home. So after I got back home, uh, Jerry's uncle was married to the woman that lived across the road from us. And and she knew me and she knew Jerry and uh, she wanted us to meet. So I went over to her house to meet Jerry. And he walked me back home and he said if, uh, if I would ever go out with him just to send him word and we'd go out some together. So I got back home and after he left, Mother said, I just don't know about that boy. I don't know if you should see him or not. And I said, well, I don't know either, Mama. But I said, he's the best looking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I was really impressed with his good looks. And everybody had told me about how nice he was too. So uh, we started going out, and uh, about every Saturday we'd go somewhere. And we went to get, one Saturday, I guess we'd courted about three months, but we went to get our marriage license. And uh, then after we got our marriage license, Jerry talked me into getting married that day. He could always talk me into anything. And we stopped at two or three country preachers' houses and they was, wasn't at home. And I said, let's just wait. I said, I wanted to have me a little wedding. And he said, well, we'll try one more preacher. And if he's not there, then we'll, we'll wait. And the next, so the next preacher's house we stopped at, he was there, and we got married. He had me a real pretty ring, and uh, we got back home then, and I was scared to tell Mama that I went and got married, because she didn't have no idea about it. And I took Daddy in the house, and I said, Daddy, we went and got married, will you tell Mama? Mama, I was afraid to tell her. And so he did, and Mama got real mad and pitched a fit. And then I got worried about Mama, her cheeks got red, and I was afraid she was gonna have a heart attack. She got so mad. And uh, so then we, we come back up to his mother and daddy's house and he gathered up his clothes and we went to somewhere to spend the night. But uh, later on, m mother liked Jerry better than anybody, but I think it was just the shock because she didn't have no idea that we was gonna get married. And I hadn't planned on it either. I was just planning on getting our license and then maybe have me a little wedding planned up. So that's how we got married. We, I met Jerry across the road from my house and I had worked at Gastoni too. I stayed at my sister's house out there and I had a job 
but I couldn't drive, and she'd have to drive me to work and come and pick me up. Uh, so I liked it better because Gastonia was more like being at home than up north in the big city. But uh, I thought that was too much on my sister to have to take me to work and come get me. So I turned in my notice and decided to come back home. I was always getting homesick too to come back home. And now I'm glad I did because if I hadn't come back home, I wouldn't have met Jerry and just right across the road from my house. But when you were in and Gastonia, you actually met part of Daddy's family, part of past yeah. Jerry's family that you didn't know at the time you was meeting them because you didn't know Jerry, but after you were married, you found out that... I met Jerry's Aunt Hazel, and I didn't know that she was akin to him till after we was already married. But the people at Gastonia, they were so good to me. And I thought, if I don't go back home, these people are going to want me to stay out here forever. And I want to go back home. I don't want to stay, you know, forever. So I turned in my notice and, and went back home. So after I met Jerry, though, I was really glad that I did, that I didn't stay on neither job that I had, that I come back home. And uh, like I say, my mother, she liked, really liked Jerry because she knew he was such a good person. And after she got to know him, she really liked him. And Anybody that didn't like him, I'd say they didn't have good sense because he was, he was good to everybody. And I, I thank the Lord, even to this day, that I met him because he was such a fine person. And I, I miss him so bad. I wish I still had him here, but with all the kids around, it's sort of like I've got him, even though I know he's he's gone to heaven, and I I'll see him again someday. But I'm really thankful that I've that I met him, and we had such a good life. We was married fifty two years, and for our fiftieth anniversary, I crocheted us a cake put roses on it. I couldn't make a big cake like they sell in the stores. So I crocheted us a cake and then we had holy smoke cake to eat and we've got pictures of that so I'm so thankful that I did that. And then Jerry just made it almost two more years. And his heart was so bad, he he passed away. But I have wonderful memories because he was such a good person, a good father. And he was good to everybody. So I feel like the Lord really blessed me because I met Jerry.